Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I seal my treats with a flat iron or a hair straightener. We're going to be using some wax paper, some scissors, some tape, some cellophane or plastic bags, and a hair straightener. And you can get a hair straightener very inexpensively from um, your local store or I will link an inexpensive one, one below from Amazon. And so we're going to get the, the wax paper and we're going to measure it to the size of the actual blades of the curling or the flat iron i'm sorry because we are using um this to basically heat press or like seal the bags you cannot directly put the flat iron onto the bag it will burn the bag and the plastic will actually stick to the actual flat iron so you need some type of barrier whether it be aluminum foil or wax paper i use wax paper you can use a piece of fabric but you need something in between your flat iron and your actual plastic so it doesn't burn so i just find it easier to use wax paper and so my flat iron is not plugged in or turned on right now and i'm just covering up the blade with the actual wax paper with just two pieces of tape very simple and then after that we will actually turn the flat iron on and i have this flat iron just for craft projects and sealing treats um i don't actually i've never used it on my hair and this is why i say just get a very inexpensive one um it doesn't have to be high quality 300 dollars. you just need a very inexpensive one and so now that i have the wax paper on there we're going to plug it in and we're going to get started Okay, so the treat that I'm gonna be using to show you guys this is some sugar cookies. These are some watermelon sugar cookies that I made um, for a previous video. And so I'm just gonna show you guys how you would use these bags and use the flat iron to seal your treats in. And you don't have to use any ribbon or anything. So normally I see people, this is how they do it. They put the parchment paper or the wax paper on top and then they flat iron it like that. But I found that it tends to slide and so this is why I actually just tape the wax paper directly to the flat iron. It just makes it so much easier than trying to hold it into place. So we're gonna get that cookie in the bottom of this bag. We're just gonna straighten it out. Okay, so now that we have it in the bag and I've straightened it out, so now we're going to make sure the cookie is all the way to the bottom of the bag. And then we're just gonna use our flat iron to seal a, a little bit above the cookie. You do want to make sure that there's not a lot of air in your bag because it will cause your bag to like bubble up. So I'm just literally tapping the flat iron maybe like two or three seconds onto the bag and then you'll see that our bag is sealed. It's sealed closed. It's just that easy guys. Just that easy. And you can resize these bags to any size for any treat. And then we're just going to use our scissors and we're going to cut. And so another beneficial um, thing about this is that now you can use your bags for multiple treats. If you were putting ribbon or twisty ties, you can only use one bag per treat. But because you're sealing it and now the, the end of that bag is sealed shut, you can now put an additional treat. And so now you see our cookie is still kind of sliding because the width is um, too wide. So we're just gonna use that flat iron to crimp the end or to seal the end and just to close the bag in to make it a little bit smaller. So now the bag is the perfect size for the cookie. How perfect is that? Perfect and simple and so much cheaper than a food sealer or one of those machines that you use to seal bags. You can find flat irons for so cheap. So this is the other half of the bag that we use. This is the same bag that we're using. So now I'm getting that second cookie into that and we're just gonna follow the same step. We're just gonna use that flat iron and just literally a few seconds is what it takes to seal the bag shut. And now you possibly could have got two to three treats into one bag. So it's also a money saver in that aspect. If you um, get some type of custom bags or custom colors, like these are just bags from um, the dollar store. But as you can see, I got two treats in one bag. And so, you know, a lot of times um, you'll buy one bag and it'll only have maybe like 12 or sometimes 25 bags and you'll need more and you have to buy a whole nother pack just to maybe get like 
a few more bags um, for whatever you're trying to do. So this allows you to actually double your bag. So that's a money saving tip as well. And as you can see, we did the same thing with the second cookie. Like you, like it's still sliding like the first one because the width is a little bit too wide. So we're just going to use our flat iron and just crimp the end. And we're going to make the bag just a little bit smaller. I'm just going to cut that additional plastic off. And that's it, guys. This is so simple. Such a cost-saving tr um, trick for you guys to use. So this is how they both turned out. Adorable. These will be very cute. Sitting on your treat tables or for you to pass out at your events. You don't have to worry about people touching treats, you know, with the whole state that we're in now you can have each of your treats individually wrapped without having to tie any ribbon or bows or twisty ties or any of that so quick so cost efficient but as always thank you guys so much for watching sweet 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 sweet